Hello, it's Friday, Yin, and I'm Josie. Um, we're going to do some Yin today, and we're going to focus on circles and what that means to us at this time of the year, um, whether it's in our bodies or our minds or possibly our giant to-do list that we probably do need to do, um, but thinking about ways that we can include um, the parts where we can actually rest and take care of ourselves so we can keep going it needs to be part of the cycle and the circle. So we're going to think about those things a little bit today. You can also always have your own intentions per usual. So um, we are going to start out standing. If you have a block, make sure that's close because we're going to need that once we go to our mat. So. All right, so we're gonna stand by your mat or on our mat. First, just getting our body, noticing we're not in our bed anymore, or I don't know where you are, maybe your car or wherever you were, wherever your mind is. And you can place your hands on your body or out beside you and just take a deep breath. For a moment, just notice the spaces around you. I'm outside. So I'm just gonna take a look around. You might be inside and be able to look around that room. Whatever's there, just noticing for a moment. Or you could keep your eyes closed, but just breathe. And keeping or first placing your legs in a kind of wider stance on your hips. We're going to start with our circles with our rib cage first. So you might even use your hands and kind of grip under your rib cage if you can. And you might just try to see how far around you can go. I can't really go very far, but um, then what we're going to do, we're going to try to keep our hips still and we're just going to try and move our ribs in a circle kind of like this kind of way you know um and so without moving your hips just the top and then you're gonna try to go the other way too it might <laughs> we might be looking like we're doing some kind of dancing moves i was never really good at belly dancing but i'm sure they have great spinal flow happening. All right, so we did the top. Now we're going to try just to isolate the hips. So if you need to bring your hip legs together, you can do that. Now we're going to try to keep our ribs still and just move our hips. So we're going both directions. <laughs> then go the other way. Just in circles. Any wiggles you got to do. And then we're gonna do our feet. So first ankles, so circles one way, then the other way. Then we're gonna do the whole leg. So maybe at least five going both directions. And this can be hard just standing. So if you need a wall, do that. and it's okay to look goofy, especially in the morning, you just woke up. Then we're gonna shake that foot for about a minute. And I'm just guesstimating, but it's gonna be longer than we prefer probably. And that's okay. It's a lot of activity for just starting the day. but just start where you're at. A little bit more, 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay. And then stand there for a moment and just notice, especially one leg to the other. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same on this other side. So grounding with that, uh, that leg you just shook, we're gonna do circles with the ankles, both directions. And then we're gonna do the legs from the hip. And you can go slow, kind of notice all those cricks and cracks. And then go the other way. You might notice one direction is easier than the other. Then we're going to shake. So planting that other foot, shake for a minute. You might also notice it's easier to balance on one leg than the other. And that's all we're doing, we're just noticing. And over time, we might notice that those things change or they stay the same. Or you have some kind of pattern that happens. And that's pretty cool when you notice that. That means you're getting in tune with your seasonal cycles of your body or just straight up life cycle, who knows? Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Okay. And just feel for a moment. Those really get me in the hips, too. Think of all, all the lifting. All right. Then we're going to do our wrists. So we can actually do these at the same time since we don't need them to stand. So Circles, one way. Now, if you want to do these separately, you can. I just like to do them at the same time. And then we'll go the other way. <clears throat> All right, then we're going to do circles forward. You can do this slow. Or fast, but probably best to do it kind of slow. We're gonna go the other way. Rotating from the shoulders. Rotator cuffs. All right, then we're gonna shake. Um, actually, we're not yet. I lied for a moment. We're gonna try something with your brain, okay? So we just did circles in the same direction. Now we're gonna try go opposite directions. So one going forward, one going backward. And then can you switch? I think I switched. <laughs> Hopefully, it kind of messes with my brain. But if you maybe don't think about it too much, you can probably do it. Whew. All right, we're just doing that to check it out. All right, so we're gonna shake both arms at the same time. Kind of uh, forward and back, but you can do any kind of wiggles you want, really. Uh, you could try to do upward circles. But try, you know, keep it going. Your arms don't have to be straight, but the more of your arm that's shaking, I think the more useful it will be to you. Get things moving.
keep going, you can do it. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. And just feel for a moment. Maybe feel a little tingly. Maybe parts of you somehow moved that haven't moved in a while. <clears throat> All of this is good. All right, then we're gonna widen our stance again, <clears throat> planting our feet, arms out. We're gonna bend our knees and let our arms swing for these twists. And I'm twisting our spine. I like to have my gaze follow my spine when I twist, but you're welcome to keep your heads forward. And see what happens there for you. <clears throat> Remembering always to breathe. Then stop. All right. Just noticing for a moment. From here, we're gonna keep our, our legs out wide. We're gonna bend our knees hands come up, okay? This is, uh, has many names, but some people might call it the goddess pose. <clears throat> so we're here and we're gonna rise up into star. You might look up at the same time and bend back down. Keep going up and down. Up and do any kind of wiggling, waving that you want to do. Any dance moves for the morning. <sighs> From here, if you have your block nearby, we're going to come down to a yogi squat. So if you know about a yogi squat, your legs stay out wide, your block or your books or something supportive go on the ground and right under your seat bones, okay? So place it wherever your seat naturally falls. And you don't know necessarily, like if you're just learning how to be in this position, it's okay to like let your body be fully supported by the block. But I think part of what our goal is eventually um, is how much, how, like, how can we eventually maybe try to move away from only partially needing the block, almost as like a, just know it's there in case I fall type of thing. And then maybe eventually someday you might not even need the block, but that's not necessarily the goal. Um, we just mostly want to not be completely dependent on something outside of us to hold us up, okay? And that might be useful in multiple areas of life. <laughs> um, but yogi squat, we're just squatting, feet flat on the ground, hands can be between your knees like this or on the mat or, you know, anything, really. <clears throat> Let me just stay here. And breathing. And this this is a hard posture because all of our body weight is kind of condensed in one place. And we're using our kind of our whole body to maintain this stance. Um, our legs have to be very strong, but our core also does too to keep us upright. Otherwise, we just like kind of slouch over. <clears throat> which is cool too if you're doing it on purpose. But if you can't, you're not doing it on purpose. Um, it's a lot of work. <clears throat> and it's all just something to notice. How much work are you willing to do? <clears throat> and it's Virgo season now. And Virgo's all about, well, 
working, but also what are the small things that add up to something bigger, you know? And what is on the to-do list that actually is going to make meaning for the world, you know? <clears throat> what are these daily, maybe mundane tasks that actually, um, when they're done, um, create something beautiful, you know? <clears throat> something worth experiencing. So we might think to ourselves, what does that mean for us? And what kind of things are we participating in daily? And do they actually mean anything for our lives? Or are we just doing them because we've been doing them forever? And we've never thought about switching it up or because everyone else is doing this and it seems like something that I'm expected to do. Well, depending what it is, <clears throat> Maybe it's time to just think about what you want to be on your list. All right, this is a long time. You can always come in and out, but that just means raising your legs up. <clears throat> but we're going to move on to toe crunch. Per usual, so tucking your toes under your feet. You can sit back, do your wrists per usual, or lean forward. Put something under your seat. It's up to you. This week was a Pisces full moon for a couple days. And you might have noticed something about yourself or others, or maybe you didn't notice anything. What's different? Um, but maybe some things you might have noticed. Maybe you had some kind of wild dreams or more dreams than usual. Maybe you just had a lot of feelings that came out rather than staying inside. Or maybe you noticed that in others. Or maybe you're just like really exhausted and wanting to nap a lot. Maybe you could actually nap and like be restful during that. Um, and you might still be feeling it now. I definitely feel like there's a lot happening, which there seems to be always a lot happening. Um, but just kind of, you know, do you ever feel like your nervous system is kind of just like, oh, bigger than usual for longer than normal? <clears throat> And it's not like scared or anything. It just is like maybe a little more hyper vigilant. <clears throat> That's something I've been noticing. <clears throat> All right, we're going to come out of that toe crunch. Tap your feet out behind you. All right, we're in our table. Do any wiggles you got to do. We're going to raise that right arm high and thread the needle. So resting our head down. And breathing. Rise back up, bring that arm back up, maybe do a circle or two both directions. Line it back down. We're going to raise our left hand eye. 
and loop it under for thread the needle on the other side. Rise back up, bring your arms to do some circles both directions. Another thing I'm just noticing is perhaps you've been daydreaming more than usual. That's something I've been noticing. Um, all right, from here we're going to bring our knees together, or you can have them apart. It's up to you. Bring them together for me, though. We're going to let ourselves come into child's pose and just breathe and maybe set an intention or just notice where our thoughts go a little bit. Mm. And when you set an intention, I'm just going to say this, um, have it be something you want to achieve rather than something you want to stop doing. Um, so if that's all that's come to your head, something you wish you wouldn't do anymore, or you want to remove from your list, perhaps, Think of what can I replace that with instead? What am I hoping would fill that place? Or maybe you just don't need any more things in your life. You could say, I want space to know what that means or whatever. Say what you want instead of what you don't want. And then once you have it, to take three deep breaths and kind of make it part of yourself right now. Make it be known. Of come back to a seat, but we're gonna put our head down on the mat and our arms, if they come up and they come straighten behind you, that's cool. If they can't, maybe you can just rest them behind your back, holding on to forearms. Whatever you can do, you're gonna tuck your nose kind of up into your knees or your legs and then roll down your head toward your neck. So like this. And just breathe. And you can 
can come back up whenever you're ready. We're gonna move on to our belly here. We're gonna just lift up into our elbows. This is seal. Or cobra, I told you wrong. This is cobra. You might arc your chin towards the sky for a little more pull. If this feels good on your low back, or you just feel good here in general, you can stay here. If you would like to try out seal, you're gonna just straighten your arms. And you might notice this becomes way more intense in places than you would like or can handle at the moment. And you might choose to come back down. Okay? This is more of a young posture of yin, so just be gentle and know you kind of have to use some of your own strength to get into this, so it's okay if it's hard. But you can come in and out as much as you need for these. We're just practicing testing the water, so to speak. And we'll lower back down. From here, we're going to come up into a seat, whatever that looks like. You can get there in any way you prefer. And if you have a blanket or something you'd like to put under your seat, we're going to do some forward folding. So adjust as you need. So as always, we're going to lengthen our torso, sit up straight, and then slowly hinge from the hip, leading with the low belly. I know it's kind of hard and complicated to imagine that sometimes, since there's so many other parts of us that can go forward. Um, but we need our roots to come along with us, so we got to get that core to come along. And then once you feel kind of at a good place where you can be, then you might let your head drop even, let your hands kind of rest outward. If you want to hold on to your legs, you can. It's not required. Nothing's really required. And then we just breathe into into all of it, really.
once you get so far into a pose, you might feel your body has released something or it feels different than when you started. You might think about taking a few deep breaths there just to help your body realign with wherever you are. <clears throat> we take a look at what's happening there. Reassess, I guess, I think is what I was going for. When you're ready, slowly rise up. Maybe, maybe rub your legs or your low back. Help them reorient. You know, that's kind of a can be a kind of tense one. Um, it's a lot in your hips, you know. Um, We are going to do some additional forward folding. So we're gonna do half butterfly, starting with the left side. So we're lengthening. And lean either toward the middle. You might notice you get a little bit different area that you're stretching when you do the half here. So the middle, I kind of feel it on my inner leg now, rather than low back or even my upper back before. Or you might angle over your leg. Either way, you're probably gonna feel something different, so. Adjust as needed. And just breathe. You can always have a little music going on at your house. Slowly rising up. We're going to switch sides now. So, whichever one, do the opposite of that. I'm going to kind of rotate. Lengthening. 
Unholy moon. Dean, if you can be okay with letting your your thoughts wander today. And always coming back to your breath. Slowly, you can rise back up. From here, we're going to come onto our back. Um, we're going to do some twists, and then we're going to do a long heart opener to end class. So, um, just note that, I guess. Have your block nearby. So, we're laying flat on our back. Maybe in taking, taking a moment to just notice what that feels like. We've done a lot of things not on our back so far, but still moving our spine a lot. So maybe you can let the floor or the earth just like be your support for a moment. And when you're ready, you're going to bring both knees up to your chest, hug them in tight, massage your spine out, maybe rock side to side. Then Lengthening the right leg, keeping the left bent, we're going to guide it over to the right side. 
for a twist. And that left arm can hang out to the side, palm up or overhead. Whatever works for you. Whatever feels like a good opener for you. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a squirrel way up in this tree, up top, and it's a big tree with those little helicopter leaves on it, or seeds on it, and it's like munching on them, I think, and the rest of the helicopter is falling down many, many times. I guess he's getting ready for winter already. All right, slowly bring your knees up. Reacquaint your hips and your legs to each other. And we're gonna lengthen our left leg. Bring it over to the left. Right arm goes out wide or overhead.
All right, slowly bringing that leg back to center, bringing both legs in, massaging out that back. And here, we're gonna lengthen our legs back out. We're gonna lift up our back a little bit. And we're going to, or you maybe you have your rolled up blanket. You can use that too. And you're gonna place it right, right on your shoulder, or like right under your shoulder blades there. And lean back over it. You can put something under your head if that feels more supportive to you. Sometimes you can dangling off the edge like this. Not the most comfortable for the long term. But if that's something you want to do, then do it.
Slowly. You might keep your eyes at a light gaze. You can either roll to one side or lift up your torso a little. We're going to take that block or blanket out from under us. And just lay on the mat flat for a moment. So you're welcome to stay here for us for a minute. But if you are ready, sit up. We're gonna make our way to, we're gonna kind of rock and roll because we're not quite done yet. So we're gonna rock forward and back until we make our way to the seat. Kind of massaging our spine another way. And just find a comfortable seat. You can keep your eyes at a light gaze still. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some circles with our head and neck before we end class. So lengthening your spine, dropping your head down to your chest, your chin downward. And when you're ready, slowly just start with some half circles, okay? So maybe rock over to the right side, back down, rock over to the left, and at your own pace, from side to side. And you might try going full circles. Just make sure after you go one direction for a few rounds that you eventually switch and go the other direction. You might even think about pausing in any places that feel I don't know. Maybe you know the feeling that it is there. And that wants to be felt or held on to longer. And then when you're ready. Turn your head back to the center, forward, chin to chest. And we're just gonna do a little bit of neck stretch, so maybe placing your hand on your head, maybe even just guiding it over to the right. But we're not pressing on it, we're just pressing. You can even just let your head hang that direction too. Whatever works for you. You might, I notice myself shaking just my body with these little movements holding up. If that's happening for you, it's okay. It just means you've kind of, you know, maybe moved a lot of things today, which is helpful. When you're ready, we're gonna move over to the left with our neck.
Well, you can re release your head, bring it back to center. Maybe place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Take a few deep breaths, however many you want. Just slowly. to heart center. Fill your heart with a deep breath here. Remember whatever it was that you set your intention to be. And maybe take another deep breath for that. So third eye, thanks for coming today. Hope that you find what you need in this practice and in your daily practices, whatever is on your to-do list. I hope it's meaningful and brings meaning to you and others in your life. Namaste. Um, next week's probably going to be the last week of virtual yoga like this. Um, so if you want to join, go up for it. Um, but I'm going to be teaching live soon on Saturdays. So, and I have a new job, so I'm going to be kind of ending with the virtual Friday thing, but it's been fun and I hope you guys have enjoyed it or learned something, whatever's useful to you. But thank you. I'll talk to you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Drink lots of water. I'll see you later.